Deborah Sampson, first U.S. female soldier. My name is Deborah Sampson. I was born December 17, 1760, in Plimpton, Massachusetts. My family is related to famous pilgrim settlers, Maya Will Standish and Massachusetts Governor William Bradford. I had six siblings, but because my father was lost at sea, I was raised by various households. By 10 years old, I became an indentured servant to Deacon Benjamin Thomas and his large family. I wasn't allowed to go to school, so I learned from my brothers. I completed my servitude when I was 18. With my education, I became a teacher in the summer and a skilled weaver in the winter. When George Washington called for men to volunteer for the Continental Army during the Revolutionary War in 1782, I felt the need to serve. Women were not allowed to serve in the Army. So I disguised myself as a man. When I was 21 years old, I cut off my hair and changed my name to Robert Skirtlift. I walked more than 50 miles to Worcester, Massachusetts so I could enlist without having a physical examination. In May 1782, I became a soldier in the Light Infantry Company. I was given a dangerous task of scouting neutral territory. In June 1782, with two sergeants and 30 infantrymen, our expedition ended in confrontation as we captured 15 Tories. During wartime, I also bravely dug ditches, helped storm the British, and took being shot at by cannons. To avoid my secret identity being discovered, I bandaged my own forehead after being gashed by a sword. Once, when I was shot in the leg, I removed the pistol ball from my leg by myself. For more than two years, my true identity stayed a secret. During the summer of 1783, I became very ill with a high fever. I was so ill that I became unconscious. A doctor had to examine me and discovered that I was a woman. I was soon honorably discharged from the army by General Patterson on October 23, 1783. I returned to Massachusetts. I got married to Benjamin Gannett on April 7, 1785. We had three children, Earl, Mary, and Patience. I also adopted an orphan named Susanna. We had a farm and we were fairly poor through the rest of our lives. I became friends with Paul Revere, who wrote letters to government officials to help me get my pension. I did receive a military pension from the state of Massachusetts. My life story was published in 1797 by Herman Mann in a book called Memoirs of an American Young Lady. In 1802, I started giving lectures about wartime services and performing military drills to earn money. I was the first woman to give a year-long lecture tour. On April 29, 1827, I became ill with yellow fever and died at the age of 66. Both my name and my name from the army, Robert Scherfleft, were put on my tombstone, followed by the epitaph, the female soldier. After my death, my husband was awarded pay as the spouse of a soldier by Congress. It was awarded in 1837 when Congress declared I had furnished no other similar example of female heroism, fidelity, and courage.